Hello everyone, welcome to this third video on the principle of mathematical induction. Once again in this video we will see some problems which deals with the rules of divisibility. First to recap with the principle of mathematical induction, the step 1 which we execute will be proving that p of 1 is going to be true that is we replace in the statement which has been given as p of n this n as 1 and then prove that the statement is going to be true. In the second step we assume that p of k is going to be true for some integer n is equal to k and in step 3 which is induction step we prove that p k plus 1 is going to be true. So these three steps will lead us to the conclusion that the statement which is p of n is true for all the values of n which is greater than or equal to 1 which belongs to the set of natural numbers. The problem over here is prove that 3 power n plus 7 power n minus 2 is divisible by 8 for n greater than or equal to 1 by the principle of mathematical induction. So we begin with the basic step. The basic step is proving that p of 1 is going to be true. So when we apply n is equal to 1 in the given statement we have 3 power 1 plus 7 power 1 minus 2 and this leads us to 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2 is 8 and is 8 divisible by 8? Yes, the statement is true. Therefore, we have proved that p of 1 is going to be true. What is going to be the next step? It is going to be our assumption step. What do we assume in this step? We assume that the statement is true for n is equal to k. That is, we say that 3 to the power of k plus 7 to the power of k minus 2 is going to be divisible by 8. In which case, I can express 3 power k plus 7 power k minus 2 as 8 times of m where my m belongs to the set of integers. So this is our assumption and we are going to make use of this assumption in our next induction step. So the last step is my induction step where I am going to replace my k with k plus 1 and prove p of k plus 1 is going to be true. When I replace k with k plus 1, I have 3 power k plus 1 plus 7 k plus 1 minus 2. This I need to show that is going to be divisible by 8. Now let me split and write this as 3 power k plus 1 can be written as 3 power k times of 3 plus 7 power k plus 1 can be rewritten as 7 power k times of 7 and this will be minus 2. From my last stage I have this 3 power k which can be rewritten in terms of product of 8 as 8m minus 7 power k minus 2 makes it as plus 2. So over here from my star I am going to replace this 3 power k as 8 power m sorry 8m 8 times of m it is a multiple minus 7 to the power of k plus 2. As I said in the earlier video we normally replace this but in a hurry we will uh, forget to multiply the factor by 3. So don't forget there is going to be a product 3 over here. So multiply this factor by 3 and the remaining steps happens to be 7 power k times of 7 minus 2. Let us simplify this in the next stage as 8 threes are that makes it as 24 times of m and minus 3 into 7 power k minus 3 into 7 to the power of k plus 2 threes are this is going to be 6 and the remaining factors which we have is 7 into 7 power k 7 into 7 power k and then the remaining quantity is minus 2. Now let me simplify this constants which leads me to 24 times of m plus 6 minus 2 makes it as 4 and let me combine the 7 power k terms which is present over here and here. So taking 7 power k outside I will be left out with 7 from over here and minus 3 from over here. So 
This gives me the next stage as 24 times of m plus 4 plus 7 power k times of 7 minus 3 makes it as 4. So, in the next stage, I can take this 4 common outside from my last two numbers so that I am left out with 7 to the power of k plus 1. The concept which will help us to move further over here is the quantity that I can know that 7 power k is going to be odd for all the values of k that is going to be greater than or equal to 1 and belong to the set of natural numbers. We can check that 7 power 1 is going to be 7 which is an odd number. 7 power 2 is going to be 7 7 so it is going to be 49 which is again an odd number. 7 power 3 and so on up to 7 power k is going to be my odd number whenever I have it as an value for n or k which is going to be a natural number. So, I know that 7 power k is going to be odd. What can you say about 7 power k plus 1? Plus 1 is going to be my successive number or the consecutive number. If the first number is odd and I add 1 to it, the successor or the consecutive number is obviously going to be an even number. So, I know that 7 power k plus 1 is going to be even number. When it is an even number, I know that I can express it in the format 2 times of a positive, uh, sorry, 2 times of an integer. So, my r is going to belong to the set of integers. Hence, the last stage which was over here is just 24m plus 4 times of the 7 power k plus 1 which is an even number can be replaced now by the quantity 2 times of r where m and r both belong to the set of integers. Next, we end up with 4 twos are 8 times of r. From both the quantities, I can take 8 common outside. That leaves me with 3m plus r. Obviously, when I multiply a quantity by 8, this factor is obviously is going to be divisible by 8. Hence, what we have proved? We have proved that p of k plus 1 is going to be true. Hence, the induction step which is proved for k plus 1 is also true. Therefore, we conclude that the given statement which is 3 power n plus 7 power n minus 2 which is a general statement p of n is going to be true for all the values of n which is greater than or equal to 1 by the principle of mathematical induction. Okay, so we conclude therefore by the principle of mathematical induction p of n is going to be true for all the values of n which is greater than or equal to 1. We will conclude the video with one more problem on divisibility. Prove that 6 into 7 power n minus 2 into 3 power n is divisible by 4 for n greater than or equal to 1 by the principle of mathematical induction. What is going to be our basic step? Basic step is to prove for p of 1 is going to be true. That is, in your given statement p of n, we replace n with 1. When I replace n with 1, I have 6 into 7 power 1 minus 2 into 3 power 1. So, 7 power 1 and 3 power 1, n is replaced as 1. 6 7 are 42 minus 2 3s are going to be equal to 6 which gives the quantity to be equal to 42 minus 6. You can rewrite this as 36. Is 36 divisible by 4? Yes, the statement is true for p of 1. So, I have now proved that p of 1 is going to be true, which is my basic step. What is going to be my next step? It is going to be my assumption step. What do we assume? In my assumption step, I assume that p of k is going to be true. In which case, when I replace n with the quantity k, we have 6 into 7 to the power of k minus 2 into 3 to the power of k is going to be divisible by 4. This leads me to 6 into 7 power k minus 2 into 3 power k 
to be expressed as 4 times of m where m belongs to the set of integers. Now I am going to make use of this stage which is going to be my assumption stage to prove the next step which is going to be by induction the replacement of k with k plus 1 and I prove that p of k plus 1 is going to be true. If I am going to prove this then the statement will remain true for all the quantities of n which is greater than or equal to 1. Now let me replace this value wherever we have k with k plus 1. So we have 6 into 7 power k plus 1 minus 2 into 3 power k plus 1 this is going to be the quantity which I need to show that is going to be divisible by 4. Now let me split and write this as 6 into 7 power k times of 7 minus 2 into 3 power k times of 3. Now from my star which is going to be my assumption let me replace this quantity which is going to be given as 6 into 7 to the power of k. We notice that the three quantities are in product therefore I can replace the 6 into 7 power k which is over here by this quantity 6 into 7 power k which is over here in which case the quantity gets replaced as 4 m here minus when it comes to the opposite side will become plus 2 into 3 to the power of k. So 6 into 7 power k is replaced as 4m plus 2 into 3 power k by our star. Don't forget there is a product 7 over here. So the entire quantity is multiplied by 7 minus 2 3s are 6 into 3 power k is left out from the last stage. Now expand this quantity which gives you 7 4s are so now this makes it as 28 times of m 2 plus 14 times of this is going to be 7 2s of 14 into 3 power k into 3 to the power of k minus 6 into 3 power k minus 6 into 3 power k so that makes it as let me take 3 power k common outside so 14 minus 6 so it is 28 m plus 3 power k times of 8 our quantity is to show that it is going to be divisible by 4 let me take 4 common outside from both the terms so that leaves it with 7 m and this is going to be 2 into 3 to the power of k. Now this being a product of 7, 4 is going to be obvious that the statement is going to be divisible by 4. Hence we have proved that p of k plus 1 is going to be true. That is p of k plus 1 is going to be divisible by 4. Therefore by the principle of the mathematical induction, we prove that P of n is going to be true for all the values of n which is greater than or equal to 1 that belongs to the set of natural numbers. Therefore, we prove that the statement 6 into 7 power n minus 2 into 3 power n is divisible by 4 for all the values of n greater than or equal to 1 by the principle of mathematical induction. I hope this video made things clear about the problems on divisibility by using the principle of mathematical induction. Happy learning. Keep learning.